forgot how they struggled out of the gate at the start of last season. In fact, their first 20 games were just one win off the 86 Celtics this season. Boston, one of nine teams averaging 27 assists a game. Sam, what makes the way these Celtics move the rock stand out to you? Well, we think of Boston, you think of defense, but this version of the Celtics, man, is unbelievable. Offensive-minded. They're just moving the ball. And, and a year and a half ago, when Marcus Smart called his teammates out for not sharing the ball, it is paying dividends. Now, look at Tatum sets that screen and roll. Now, you're talking about a guy that's in the MVP race, and he's setting the screen roll into the basket. Look at Brown comes off this double screen right here. And watch the defense move. And you look at White right here makes this cut because he's going to make the defense make a mistake. And again, Easy play for Jalen Brown over the top to White for a layup. And here we come again. Look at White as he comes off this side screen and roll. Look how he draws the defense. And then look at the vision he has right now. You got Cornette 7 2 over the top. And White sees a smaller defender on him. He just throws it up over the top for an easy layup. And this is the guy right here, Tatum. Look at him moving without the basketball, finding himself. And again, Moving without the basketball, sharing it. The San Antonio way, we're going to turn down a good shot for a better shot. And Grant Williams knocks down the three. And so when you think about the Celtics, we always get caught up in their defense. Their defense is down a little bit, but their offense is just taken out. And, Coach, we know this about this team. They have natural defenders. When you think about Tatum, Brown, Marcus Smart, Grant Williams, Al Horford, they are going to defend. But the way they're scoring the basketball and moving the basketball now, Coach, right now they are the best basketball team in the NBA by, by none. Yeah, and it's a lot about shot selection, and it starts at the top, right? Jason Tatum seemed to flip a switch in January of last year where he's just a lot more efficient as a player. Doesn't fall into the volume scoring category to get his to average, you know, 30 a game. Nights like he did in late November where he dropped 49 on just 25 shots. What's the difference in Jason? Gives him Say more that again, room, Coach. Willing to pass the ball. It gives him more room on the <laughs> yes. floor because his teammates become more dangerous. People tend to stay home a little bit more. You get room. And Jason Tatum, I think, really figured that out last year and Jalen Brown. Yeah. And it's benefited their entire team. You know, he mentions Jalen Brown, and I think about when you and I were watching some of the games in the bubble, right? It would be like, oh, Jason Tatum had a great scoring game, and then Jalen Brown took over in the clutch. Who's taking over? Jalen Brown has seems way more confident in his role, way more comfortable, Sam. What are you seeing from Jalen Brown not forcing things and taking good shots on his end? Well, I just think he understands what this team needs right now. He understands. He plays both sides of the basketball. And when you think about Brown, Coach, you think defense first, but then when you look at those numbers, he's averaging 26 points, shooting 50%. These two guys as a forward combination, Coach, they got a chance. And we're not talking – people haven't talked about this. To go down as the greatest combination of forwards on the team ever in the NBA. When you look at their offense and their defense – And their defense. Hey, they separate themselves from everyone. They're both two-way players. And I think that's what separates the best teams. It always yeah. does. You know, coach can't be having to, in the playoffs, decide, am I going with my defensive guys or my offensive guys? And so when you look at them, they're two-way guys. If you look at Milwaukee with Giannis and with Middleton and with Drew Holiday, they're two-way guys. Those are the teams you got to be worried about in the playoffs. I like what Sam said there. History in the making, seeing greatness at the forward Absolutely. position in Boston because we know there's a great history <laughs> in talking about forwards in Boston. They're going to run out of numbers in Boston, Coach. <laughs> hey, you're going to have some people win. They're triple zeros. <laughs> hey, man, triple digit numbers. <laughs> hey, speaking of a guy whose jersey is going to be retired and rafters and Hall of Fame, all of that stuff, Giannis Antetokounmpo assist to turnover ratio great in the clutch. Stan, Steph has always created shots for others by just being on the floor but directly getting his teammates scoring opportunities. What is he doing this season? Well, he knows he's going to draw other defenders. First of all, this starts with the rebound. He's averaging a career high rebounds right now. He averages more rebounds than Draymond Green. You see on the break, he draws two defenders to stop him. They leave Clay Thompson wide open. This is going to happen again here. He comes off the flare screen. Struess is so worried about him, he leaves Clay Thompson. Two wide open shots for Clay Thompson because Curry's so great. Here he gets bull bull up, which creates the passing angle to Clay for the layup. 
And then watch here. As soon as he catches it, look how quickly his head turns to look up floor. Disregard the fact that he ran three steps to make that <laughs> pass. But it's a great pass to Clay Thompson for the layup. Now, you heard the name he kept saying. Clay Thompson, Absolutely. the other splash brother, seems like he's getting his form back right now. We know 20 games into the season, he's still shooting under 40%, you know, from three point range, still averaging less than 20 points per game, which are beneath what we've seen him do in his career. But Sam, there was a stretch of five games where he shot over 50% from three point range. And like we just saw, it was Steph finding him for easier opportunities. What are you seeing that there might be hope that Clay? maybe returning to that Splash Brother form. Well, he's starting to move without the basketball. Earlier when he came back, he was just kind of a standstill player, letting the offense come to him and hoping that guys can find him for shots. Now, he's getting his rhythm back. He's moving, he's cutting, and that's the Golden State game. You know, Steph Curry sets everybody up, but Klay Thompson is always going to find them open spots and be ready to shoot the ball. He's always getting into rhythm. And then this is the thing, too, that separates him from a lot of shooters. He will put the ball on the floor and take the layup. Look at that. Just coming off that brush screen right there. He's always moving and looking, coming without the basketball. And that's the thing about them. When they're moving and cutting, they make the game easy. And they're so different than everyone else because everyone else want to stand guys around and two guys play basketball, run a lot of screen and roll. Golden State separate. They want to feed the post. They want to set those splits. They want to dive, and they want to continue to move. Moving, cutting, a guy who's making the game easier for his teammates. A guy most people don't think of on the Warriors, Andrew Wiggins, who was named an All-Star last year, then crowned a champion by playing some top-tier defense on Jason Tatum in the finals. Check him out. Statistically, this year, he's off to a better start this season than he was last year, and he's getting off to great starts in-game. So, Stan, can you show us what makes Andrew Wiggins so valuable this season? Well, Andrew Wiggins has figured out a way to fit in. He can create his own shot. Look, he's our second leading scorer. People talk about the big three. They forget this guy's really been their <laughs> second best player since he's been there. He really knows when to spot up and space the floor, when to cut, and you already brought it up. His defense is underrated. I mean, it used to be Draymond Green and then Clay Thompson was their number one perimeter defender. Now it's Andrew Wiggins. Yes. And so this guy, to my mind, even though he was an all-star, Sam, he's still underrated. Yes, without doubt. <laughs> it won't be hard to convince him. Remember, <laughs> Sam coached Andrew Wiggins when he was drafted and really helped to hone those uh, skills early in his career, now paying dividends for the Golden State Warriors. Got to give you some love Thank and respect you. on that.